So the code slider, which is used by the bridge theme, um, is very, uh, it's fairly simple to use. Um, over on the left hand side you'll see the tab that says code slider. If you click on that it'll take you to uh, the slide section and if you click on the sliders you can then go to the sliders part of the plugin and you'll see um, what different sliders you've created and which ones are you know currently being used. Uh, right now this is the only one that um, is active and we can click edit on that and change the settings or we can fill out this information here on the left hand side and create a new slider so once you have created a slider uh, let's just go in and check out the settings um, there's not much to it you know you can set up um, the effect on the header like um, the header can change colors depending on what slide you have so like if you have a dark colored slide and you want your header to be light so that you know the menu items show you can change that option right here um, the parallax effect um, that is when you're scrolling up and down and the background image or like the slide image kind of scrolls slowly you know not quickly so that kind of looks like you know the slide is a little bit further back than what the website is so it just kind of gives it a cool effect um, the slider short code if you copy this you can triple click or you can um, just scroll and uh, highlight it all and then just click copy and then when you go into your page that you want the slider to show let's say you're on the home page scroll down to this where it says code general layer slider or code slider short code and right in here is where you'll paste in the short code uh, which you see we've already done right here now there's some options in the short code that you can change where it says auto start you can set that you know to false or true animation type we have it to fade or if you type in slide the the images will slide instead of the have the fade effect um, slide animation this is how many seconds the uh, um, slide will show which is um, they go by milliseconds so 8000 would be 8 seconds you can change the height of it and responsive um, which is responsive to like mobile or if you know the screen is a little smaller and you can set a background color these are the different options in the slider shortcode the code slider shortcode so once you have your slider all set you get your shortcode in to your page that you want it to show you can now go to the slides and we already have some in there right now and when you create one it's really quick if you create a slide and then you can just click clone which then it'll just copy the same slide and then you can go in and make your changes so let's just go in and check out one of the slides okay we've got the title and that shows on the slider let's just show what it pops up as So you'll see we have the title, and that should pop up first right there. The title is first. And then we've got our slide image, which you'll see in the background there. And it's got the fade effect. Let's just go back. Um, you'll see the little subtitle text right there. If you keep scrolling down, go down to the slide text, which is what we have right there, which will then appear below the title. You can also set this to show, um, you can have the title show, um, let's see where is that option, there is an option to show um, the uh, title below or you can show the title um, above the slide text. Um, one of the slides we do have that on there. Um, so you've got you know the title, and then the slide text and then you get a little button you can set this down where it says button um, button 2 it just kinda changes up the colors you can have like a primary color and then there's a secondary color and the it'll, button 1 will use the primary color and button 2 will use the secondary color so you can change the label and then this is where the, the button will link to so those are just kind of the basic uh, options for the slide 
you know the graphic if you have a graphic in your slide you want you can align that um, text we have it aligned centered and content positioning this is just kind of default stuff that's just set up and right here is where you know it says the subtitle you can position that either below the title or above the title and just kind of some uh, other general information like here is the header skin um, if your slider is using the header effects um, if you have you know the image with the dark background with the dark colors you can change the header skin to light so then when this slide will show it'll then show um, the light uh, header text so that you can see it over the dark colored slide so that's also an option and then once you have everything in there for your slide go over on the right hand side and just check the slider that you want it to you want it to associate with and then hit the order so then you know this will be slide one and it'll show on home slider two and then you can click uh, if it says update or publish and then that'll just update it then you can go back to your slides and then you can check those out and then you know once you have all the slides that you want you can just go back to your page that you put the short code in and you know refresh it and check it out and um, that should be good to go then